While ULA rockets lift off from launch pads in Florida and California, the journey to space begins in Decatur, Alabama. With more than 2.2 million square feet, ULA's production campus is an always-on workhorse where technicians build Vulcan rockets. Vulcan booster production begins with milling an ortho grid pattern into raw aluminum plate stock using double gantry milling machines. These form the panels for booster tanks, while other aluminum components are ring milled. This process of skin milling reduces the original weight of each panel by 70%, while maintaining approximately 75% of the original material strength. The panels are transported to the brake press and bump formed into the precise curved radius required to create propellant tank barrel sections, and then to stations where they are etched, dye pen inspected, and anodized to protect from corrosion. The panels then move to the linear friction stir welder, where they are forged together to form barrel sections of the fuel and oxidizer tanks. The friction stir welding process uses frictional heat and stirring of the parent material to form a weld. Because no filler material is used, the final welded joint is exceptionally strong. Fuel and oxidizer tanks continue on to the circumferential friction stir welder, where domes are added to each end, completing the first stage propellant tanks. After verifying the integrity of each weld during pressure testing, the next stop is the spray-on foam insulation, or SOFI booth. Here, tanks are primed, then insulated to protect from liftoff acoustics and to control the thermal properties needed for flight. Tanks then move to the final assembly aisle, where the major components come together to form a completed booster. In addition to the first stage, or booster stage, Centaur, ULA's second stage, is also built in the Decatur factory. Fabricated with thin, stainless steel, the weight of the Centaur upper stage is 90% propellant, making it the most efficient upper stage currently in use. To create the Centaur bulkheads, Gores, or pie-shaped sheets, are welded together. The bulkheads and tank skins are then assembled using a combination of spot and seam welds. Following pressure and leak testing in the high-pressure test facility, Centaur is transported to the SOFI booth to add thermal protection for the cryogenic propellants. Centaur tanks then move to final assembly, where engines, avionics, pneumatic, and propulsion systems are installed. At the end of the production journey, all systems are tested and the first and second stages are prepped for transport to the launch site. The Vulcan Booster and Centaur then exit the factory and travel about a mile down the road to a dock on the Tennessee River. Once loaded onto the RS rocket ship and soon the RS spaceship, ULA specially designed cargo ships, the rockets begin their trip to Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida or Vandenberg Space Force Base in California.